Citizens Broadband Radio Service, or most commonly known as CBRS, is spectrum from 3.5 GHz to 3.7 GHz that the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, has designated for sharing among three tiers of users, incumbent users, priority licensees, or PAL, and the unlicensed generally authorized access users, otherwise known as GAA. A few months ago, the FCC's CBRS PAL auction ended and major winners include traditional operators, cable companies, as well as non-traditional players such as enterprises spanning the utility, energy, manufacturing, and agricultural industries. This was significant in two main aspects. First, CBRS allows operators to deliver affordable, high-speed fixed broadband services to customers in underserved communities by leveraging fixed wireless access. Customers only need to install a small transceiver, also known as Customer Premise Equipment, or CPE, to get services at their homes. Second, CBRS gives enterprises access to Spectrum for private network use cases and application enablement. A CBRS-based private network offers a range of benefits including better cell performance and coverage, low latency, higher data rates and capacity, the ability to prioritize traffic, and cellular-grade security. Samsung's CBRS Massive MIMO radio, which is commercially available today, integrates a radio unit with a 64TRX antenna array for macro-cell deployment in the 3.5 GHz spectrum band. Based on the 3GPP Release 15 standard, the Samsung CBRS solution allows for a software upgrade path to 5G NR for additional performance growth and can operate over the entire CBRS spectrum of 150 MHz. It can simultaneously transmit 100 MHz of spectrum with a combination of contiguous and non-contiguous 10 or 20 MHz carriers across the entire CBRS band for both PAL and GAA. This is unmatched by any other commercial solutions. Now that we've covered CBRS, Let's talk about C-band spectrum. The FCC released a public notice that they will be repurposing 280 MHz of the C-band spectrum for flexible use and conducting an auction at the end of this year. This will certainly change the 5G rollout in the US since mid-band offers the right balance of higher speed with solid signal propagation to help network operators provide expansive 5G coverage. Here at Samsung, we view the C-band spectrum as vital frequencies for 5G in our systems. And Samsung is well positioned to support mobile network operator rollouts in the C-band spectrum in the US. South Korea is a prime example as all of the 5G network currently operates solely in the 3.5 spectrum. All three operators are using Samsung's 32 TRX massive MIMO radios and 8 TRX radios in their network deployments. In the US, Samsung's 64TRX massive MIMO radios are delivering commercial services in CBRS and 2.5 band now. This will provide critical foundations for a new C-band 64TRX massive MIMO radio. Samsung's new C-band massive MIMO radio will support a wide 280 MHz bandwidth and a high 200 watts output power. Similar to other products in our portfolio, the C-band radio will have a slim design and rounded sides so that it can easily fit into the surrounding environments. Samsung is excited to help operators explore the possibilities of CBRS and C-band and connect more people, especially in a time when connectivity is more important than ever.